Super Adventure Island. It's for the Super Nintendo. The only thing you need to know about this game is that it is a hard game. Now don't get me wrong, it's a good game and it has a lot of really great mechanics. It's just really difficult, and I mean like Dick Tracy for the NES difficult. Okay, maybe not quite that difficult, but it's still really hard. That being said, it has an amazing storyline. You sit on a tree with your way too hot cave lady friend beneath the twinkling sky above. Then the black mage from Final Fantasy comes strolling along on a broomstick and turns your girlfriend into stone. And then this eagle griffin comes and picks you up. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what a great storyline that is. It ages like a fine milk. Meet our hero, Master Higgins. That's quite the gentlemanly name for a man in a loincloth and a red baseball cap. That being said, I do rather like the sounds of both Sir Tarzan and George of the Jungle, Esquire. Now, something to note, this is a sequel to the Nintendo game Adventure Island, but uh, we're not talking about that game, so forget I mentioned it. The game starts and you're just running in place. That seems like an exhausting idle animation. Please start playing the game, I'm tired. It's a nice enough game. You jump. So far that seems to be the only thing that you can do. Other than boogie down, that is. Actually, it kinda reminds me of Butthead's dance. You quickly find the hammer, and when you pick it up you finally get a weapon. Whoa, look at that throw! He's really putting his shoulders into it. I also hate any weapon in games that arc. I'm playing games because I don't want to do math and physics. No, he's gonna get me! You've probably noticed by now that your health slowly ticks down over time. The way you fill it back up is by eating fruit that you find around the level. Oh, this isn't a joke, this is my lunch. Yeah, look, a skateboard! I'm gonna call you Tony Rock Pro Skater. Get it? Rock? Cause he's like a caveman. Perhaps, perhaps a Neanderthal? A Homo erectus? Ho homo habilis? When you grab the skateboard, you turn into Iron Man. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. Now, back to the weapons. As I mentioned earlier, you can collect a hammer, but you can also collect a boomerang. The boomerang allows you to shoot in different directions. It just takes a little longer before you can throw your next shot. As you progress through the levels, you'll find more hammers and boomerangs. The reason for this is so you can have more ammunition. Now, one thing I need to mention, if you get hit by an enemy once, you die. And trust me, you die a lot. When you do die, you start off at some arbitrary spot in the level, which is nice, but you also need to collect your weapons again. And trust me, nothing is more aggravating than being late in the game with a single hammer and tons of enemies hopping towards you. No, stay back, I don't want to die! If you do manage to stay alive long enough and collect enough weapons, then you get super weapons. Basically, you turn into Gambit, and your weapons do more damage and glow. It's really useful when fighting these amazing enemies. Aw, it's a little worm thing. Oh no! Let's talk a little bit about the levels. Now, this is a pretty long game. It actually took me hours to beat, mostly because I kept dying. Still though, pretty long game. There are five levels. Each level has four stages. So, if I use math correctly, and I add it all up, and carry the one, you know, round down to the third decimal place, and uh, apply the first law of thermodynamics, which clearly states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, then this game has about negative 37.65 stages. I, I think I, I think I mathed wrong. Yeah, either way, let's check out some levels. As you can tell, the first stage feels like some sort of Hawaiian jungle, but the stage right after quickly turns into some very dense South American forest, inhabited by stereotypes. <clears throat> There's also caves, beaches, cotton candy land. Mmm, cotton candy. Inside of a whale's stomach. Mmm, whale stomach bile. On a tree. And many other generic places. If you push down on the controller before you jump, then you get a little bit of an extra height boost, and a much cooler jumping animation. Pretty epic uppercut, my friend. Oh, 
I really do enjoy the sound effect that happens at the end of each level. Kinda reminds you of the end of a sitcom from the 80s, doesn't it? Now Nathan, did you eat all the cheese? There's not too much else to this game, to be completely honest. It's a lot of the same, it just progresses in difficulty. Sure, there are bosses that you need to fight, but compared to the levels leading up to the bosses, they're pretty simple. Watch me beat the boss of level 1. There, I did it. Easy. The end boss is kind of a pain though. He starts off in his first form and you just chuck stuff at the guy until he dies. It's rather simple. Look, I'm just standing here pressing the button as he jumps over me. The second form is a bit more difficult and it took me a while to figure out what I was doing. Now I know it's pretty commonplace for me to compare games to Super Mario Bros. 3, but hear me out. Fighting Bowser at the end of the game involves nothing more than moving and jumping. Bowser jumps at you, breaks the bricks, and eventually falls to his death. Well, this boss is the exact same. Let him jump in the same section over and over again until he eventually dies. The best part happens next. The game ends and your girlfriend is no longer made of stone. She still does have a pretty rock solid body, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hey, don't go anywhere because I have really cool announcements for you. But first, thank you so much for liking and commenting on this episode of Retrosode. If you liked what you saw, remember to hit that subscribe button. You can also check out my last episode of Monster Party by clicking over there. Announcement number one, I just want to thank you guys so much. I hit 250 subscribers the other day and that's, it, it's such an honor. It's, seriously, guys, thank you so much for subscribing and liking and commenting on my videos and everything. And even those of you who are just watching the videos, Seriously, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me. 250 is a big number, and I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, and I know we're going to continue to grow, and we're going to get bigger as a community, so seriously, guys, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Cool announcement number two. I'm going to be at the Calgary Entertainment Expo between April 16th and 19th, so if you're going to be there, come and say hi. I'm going to have a booth there with the uh, Retro Dragon Entertainment guys, which is part of me, um, so uh, if you're going to be there, come and say hi. Cool announcement number three, I was nominated for a YouTuber of the Month award. Now it is a smaller community nomination, but it still means a lot to me. If you guys want to go check out the nomination, click over here. It's on a channel called 2D UK. Very funny guy. If you want me to win, just leave a comment saying that you want me to win. Simple as that. Of course, vote for who you want to win. It's not just me. There's a lot of great uh, YouTubers who are part of this nomination, so go check them out. And a big thank you to Retro and Active Gamer for giving me the nomination. Cool announcement number four, I want to give two of you a very very special shout out um you guys have been on my videos for a long time you guys are always leaving comments you guys are always engaging with the videos and i really want to give you guys a thank you um the first one is going to be lug berserk i hope i'm pronouncing that right um lug berserk has been around for a very long time on my channel he's always leaving comments every time i put out a video he's always there leaving a comment and i just want to say thank you uh for being such an active member of the community it really means a lot the second person is Ciro golly once again, hope I'm pronouncing this right, but I don't know, I don't know. Both of you have been around for a long time. You're always leaving comments, and I seriously really appreciate that. You guys are very supportive members of the community, and thank you. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers probably don't uh, pay too much attention to the, the fans who are leaving comments and all that kind of stuff, but I really do. Every time you guys leave a comment, I'm there, I'm responding to you, and I really appreciate your guys' patronage and support and uh, what I would just call a friendship. I don't think of you guys out there as fans. I'm not that kind of guy. You guys are all my friends, and I really appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, so thank you seriously so much. So that's it for me today. Uh, I hope you guys had an awesome time. I'm going to continue to try to get some more content out for you as soon as I can. I know these videos have been a little bit late, and I'm sorry, but I'm, I really am working hard on it. So until next time, goodbye.